<laughs> so we're gonna be riding in a bicycle parade this weekend. Ah, uh, yeah, with about 7,000 other people. That's just how it goes with us. <laughs> okay, not really. I think we're a little intimidated by this, but it's gonna be awesome. Yep, talking about Goat Head Fest. Good morning, lovely people of the planet. This is Jeff O. This is the Morning Ride Pedal Powered Podcast. I'm just a dude on a bicycle trying to evolve as a filmmaker, as a writer, and as a human being. And I love being able to talk with you this morning on your ride. How is your Thursday morning ride? Ours is super smoky. My mom asked me, I talked to her on the phone on Monday. <clears throat> She's like, hey, are the fires getting to you guys yet? This is Idaho, it's summer and then it's fire season. A lot of people make that joke, but it really is fire season here. Over in Twin Falls area. And man, it's close, it's bad this morning over here. Like my eyes are burning a little. Not crying about it, we don't have it that bad. Just saying, the weather report brought to you by Brought to you by who? Ah, it's not brought to you by anybody. Just so you know, if you're new here, this is a completely independent podcast, completely unedited. I just hit record and whatever happens is what happens. And we all get to experience the ride as it is. Because ultimately, that is what I'm trying to accomplish. Is being able to uh, just stay on my ride as a filmmaker, as a writer, as a photographer, as a creative type person. Hey, good morning. I really appreciate you being here with me this morning. So, yes, it is Goat Head Fest weekend. Now, here in Idaho, we've got these little things called puncture vines. Hey, good morning on your left, lovely people. commonly colloquially known as goat heads because they drop these little thorns in the shape of goat's heads. If goats were only about, oh, half an inch tall, that's about one centimeter for those of you who are metrical. <laughs> metrical. Asymmetrical. Asymmetrical. But basically they are pretty invasive and pretty horrible out in the trails especially. Good morning. Hey, good morning on your left here. So fun to see so many people out taking advantage of these amazing trails this morning. Part of what Goat Head Fest is about, and this is, uh, I think it's headed up by, I don't think they like taking all the credit, but I honestly don't know who else is involved, so I gotta give them the credit here. Because you've gotta have a noun to talk about a thing. <laughs> is it is primarily run by Boise Bicycle Project. This used to be the Tour de Fat, which was a project by New Belgium Brewing, folks that make fat tire ale. And a couple of years ago, they kind of recognized that Boise has a great biking community, a great organization that can uh, inspire and motivate people toward bicycling and getting out on a bicycle. and having a parade with 7,000 other bicyclists, which I'm so excited about. People dress up in costumes, they make special bikes. I'm thinking about cleaning one of my bikes. <laughs> That's about all the prep I'm gonna do. Well, decide which shoes to wear. Hey, good morning on your left here. Gonna have to do a little wall ride. We got a lot of camera gear with us today. Hey, good morning. Makes it a little sketchy with all the camera gear. Plus, I don't want to fall with all the camera gear. Hey, on your left, brother. Wow, look at all these people out. Am I out at a different time? Am I out early? I can't imagine that happened. Out running, making it happen. Hey, good morning.
So starting in June or July, end of June, early July, one of the things, one of the contests, one of the missions of the Goathead Fest is that people collect the puncture vine around town so that we have fewer goat heads every year. I replace so many tubes because of goat heads. I've got a pile of tubes that I could patch and they'd be perfectly fine, but I haven't figured out a time to do that, meaning it's not important to me yet. I don't value it yet, which is ridiculous because I spend money on tubes all the time and I've got a billion of them that just need a little bit of glue and attention. A little bit of glue and attention. That's all we need, folks, to get by. That and a little help from our friends. <laughs> so, if you are in the Boise area this weekend, I urge you to get out, take a look at the parade, check out all the people in costumes. That is like hardcore dog walking right there. <laughs> For those of you watching the video, I don't know if you can see it. Girl coming down that steep trail with her dog. Kind of a fun little vision. Whoa, dude, it's smoky. Smoky, smoky in the band. Smoky like a, like smoke. <laughs> so one of the things that I find about bicycling, and especially like mountain biking here, because I'm not, uh, I'm a real, I like technical mountain biking. There's not a lot of technical trails in this part of the world. Well, I mean, I guess sand is a technical obstacle that you have to float through, but I grew up, I'm an Arkansas boy with mountain biking among the stumps and roots and rocks. Basically dry creek beds is what most of our trails were. That's not a qualification about anything. It's just the style of mountain biking I like. So for me to get out on a mountain bike here, a lot of times it means getting out and riding with friends. And a lot of times anything bicycling related or starting a new thing means getting out and doing it with other people. So if you are in the Boise area, I urge you, I think you would be inspired to come out Saturday and Sunday, check out what's going on with GoatheadFest.com, put on by Boise Bicycle Project. All the proceeds basically go to support bicycle and pedestrian nonprofit organizations in the Boise area. It's a great event. Oh, I forgot to tell you, basically, New Belgium realized that we could handle it on our own. So they said, you know, we're gonna back off slowly over a couple of years, a little less funding, a little less uh, event support. So the BBP is now doing it completely. And uh, New Belgium was able to go into some other town and uh, that didn't have the infrastructure and help them out, which I think is really cool. I love it when people recognize that, you know, we've really kind of accomplished our mission here. We've, you know, helped galvanize the community around this big bicycle parade. Oh, and there's tons of other events too, man. Uh, there's like bicycle polo, there's costume contests. There's, uh, they, they used to call it Helidrome. I don't see that it's being called that this year, but there's a lot going on, so I probably just missed it. But basically like, obstacle course races, slow races. <laughs> you think you're an accomplished bicyclist? How slow can you go? <laughs> and I don't know if track stands are allowed, like if you can be totally still. I think you have to be moving, like in a straight line. No S-curves, I know. I see what you're getting at. You're gonna be like, oh, I could S-curve the whole way there. That'll t at least take longer. Now. It's about time and distance, folks. Time and distance. Joy is all about time and distance. Speaking of that, if you're into reading things rather than listening to things, I put out a blog post this morning. I gotta do that every other Thursday. That's why these kind of get conflated. These things, which is what I call my blog posts, an email that I send out to the people that are subscribed. It's not that I'm a guru, folks. I just don't mind sharing. In fact, it helps me a lot to share, to try to articulate some of these things that I'm experiencing as a human type person because it's complicated, man. It's hard to be a human sometimes. It's hard for me because, uh, hey, good morning. 
It's my ego gets in the way a lot. We've talked about this ad nauseum. My ego, me talking about my ego. <laughs> Not ironically. Come on. I'm just a dude on a bicycle having a good time. And I hope that you're having a good time too. Hey, if you would like to actually be on the podcast with me, I would love that. I love it when I get to ride with other people, get to talk about what they're into, get to talk about their ride, hear their questions, hear their comments about bicycling. Look us up on uh, Morning Ride Pod. I know it's ridiculous, but that's what that's where we that's where we landed. On uh, hey, good morning. On both Twitter and Instagram. And, Get in touch with me. I'd love to ride with you or jeffo at morningridepodcast.com. You can find all this out on that website. Folks, I am stoked for this weekend. I'm, I'm nervous too because it's a bunch of people and, you know, there's part of me that's like, oh yeah, I want to be the cool guy on the bicycle. And it's like, there's 7,000 people. We're all little snowflakes out there. are <laughs> going to be melting in the summer sun of Idaho. Wear your sunscreen, kids. My kids, I mean me. I've got this hippie stuff that I like. I think it's called Burnout. Again, I'm not sponsored. It's just the stuff that I like. But it's zinc-based. So a lot of times I have a metallic scent now. I'm not crazy about that, but I guess I'm less crazy about skin cancer. And uh, got to keep the artwork in check got to keep it got to keep the artwork uh what do you call that gosh what did bruce just tell me basically you gotta you gotta protect your artwork you know what i'm saying yeah i'm talking about the tattoos folks all right folks that's it for me i know this one's kind of dreamy lazy in the hazy smoky daisy <laughs> i do hope that if you're in town that i do get to see you out at the goat head fest I think we're probably primarily participating in the parade. Uh, some of the other events are, get to be a little much. There's so many people. <clears throat> it's so cool. If you're into being around a lot of people, it is a guaranteed fun event. Stop by, say hello to Boise Bicycle Project. Check out what they're doing. Do you know that they have programs that get kids on bicycles? Meaning like if a kid doesn't have a bicycle, there's about 13 ways that Boise Bicycle Project helps kids get on bicycles. I love being on a bicycle, so I don't feel like it's fair for me to evangelize it. So I support Boise Bicycle Project, who evangelizes and can like provide real support for, here's how you fix your bike. <clears throat> it's one of the coolest things that I learned when I started volunteering with them, getting involved over there. They've also got like a bicycle shop. A lot of the Oliver Bicycle Works projects come from there, from parts like frames and parts, a lot of the parts. How many times can I say that, parts? <laughs> I love that this is unedited, man. Just spilling the beans here, folks. Hey, by the way, if you like green beans, this is the way that I cook the green beans. If you don't like the green beans like this, man, go find somewhere else. Go, go enjoy your life. <laughs> I'm not asking you to leave. I'm asking you to, to appreciate what's going on here as much as I appreciate what's going on with you. Folks, that is it for me. I hope that you have a great weekend. We love getting, riding a bicycle. Get out on a bicycle. Maybe this weekend it is actually a bicycle. Maybe it is getting out among other people in a community of happy, pretty friendly people. I mean, Boise is a friendly town. Well, it's a polite town anyway. <clears throat> oh. Whatever your ride is, folks, if you love riding a bicycle, get out on a bicycle. It's the only one we got. It's the only ride we got. I'm grateful to be on it with you today. See you Monday. Hey, good morning. <laughs>